hang on me being a sociopath for one second. What the fuck is this? Welcome to your new home. Our new home. Oh no. In two seconds, you will collide with your destination. Good news, everyone. We seem to have survived a massive disruption in the flow of time. Wait, what exactly happened? Here, look at this. Okay, I'm done. To the ship! A new virus has broken out. I've developed a test to see who's infected. Ah, you sham this cute. Oh no. <laughs> COVID episode. Oof. And a bit late on that that old situation, aren't we? That looks kinda fun. I can't wait to do it hundreds of times. Pretty lawless out here in crypto country. Say, you interested in a job? Oh. Right. Why don't you have a bell? Or at least a substantial butt. Sorry, guys, I'm a flatty. Oh. Manscaped me, Kiv. That's an order. You do you, weirdo. Mm. You're back. Would you like to order erotic scented massage oil or fuzzy handcuffs? Yes, God, please. that's creepy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so creepy. Well, I guess uh, Hulu just fucking bagged a shit ton more members. But in the same way, uh, when Futurama came back the first time, it, it kind of sucked. It will. It well. I mean, it didn't suck all the time, but some of those episodes were really bad. And I think the ending, the original ending to it, was pretty. Uh, it 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 it's a pretty good ending. The original. I don't. I'm not going to spoil it, but I think it. Um, you know, it did loop it all like nicely together and stuff, and kind of kind of left you feeling satiated. I don't know though. Could uh, could uh, whether this show flops or not, I appreciate them trying to revive us childhood memories and creating new ones. I've been a fan of Futurama since the very beginning. It's my comfort show. And it all by heart. I reckon it's not going to do amazing. And that's not me being a pessimist. I just... I really think like it's one of those... Nostalgia things. And I, 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 I hope it works. I hope it goes well. But... I don't know, man. It's 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 one of those things where there's been, it's been too long, you know. It's been one of those things where it's just too long in between it happening. Um, and I don't know. I do not know. What I do know though is that fucking Hearthstone is still not updated after even reacting to all that shit. Jesus Christ. It's still got a gig left. Okay, let me scrape the bottom of the content barrel real quick. Um, uh, I'm just going to share this with people real quick who might be interested in it. I feel like it's gonna be something to watch, but I don't I don't know if it's gonna be good. That's my uh, final assessment, and I, I'm not saying that because I want it to be bad and I want to go. Yeah, it's gonna fail. It's terrible. I don't, I don't want that. I really want it to succeed 
but I don't know if it has the staying power to do so, uh, Futurama, in the current century. Maybe it does, though. Maybe it's a good binge show. But I don't know if it'll add much more to it. Uh, actually, we could watch one of... Oh, hey, what the fuck? Dude, there's so much good shit that pops up on my YouTube. I've actually filtered it. Uh, so it only shows me good shit now. Low IQ Americans. Look, I. Who the hell is this guy? Because he might be the hero we need. I know there's stupid people everywhere, but America has a special kind of stupid. It, I, I believe this is the stupid <laughs> capital of the world. That's oh my I've, God. I've lived here my whole life. Okay, imagine seeing this dude when he's like, I mean, I'm not being mean. But if he keeps sipping on lean, that dude is going to be knocked out clean, you dig? Uh, but Says the imagine seeing a dude who looks like that at 85. I don't see it. I don't know if it's just because anyone who looks like that is not 85 yet, but it's hard to see them old, isn't it? With all this, like, pen on their face. It looks like they got bored and got a friend to draw on them. That's literally what this looks like. And then they took a hairstyle from like a 90s cartoon show and just brought it into the real world, unfortunately. Um, I really... I, I mean, maybe he's happy like that, but I doubt it. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's smiling ear to ear right now. So... I mean, but I could be wrong. I'd like to be wrong. All the world. That, that's my opinion. Especially if I've oh my god, he had money life. around on his face. I'll give you one dollar if you can name any continents. <laughs> I don't know. Africa? I don't know. I don't know a continent. Isn't continent... Yeah. A continent's the big bit. So, like, the United Kingdom is a continent, right? And then it's broken up into different bits. So, like, Africa is a continent. Europe is a continent. Oh, so it's just like the... Yeah, so, like, China is a continent, right? So is Russia? I think it's just anywhere that's massive. If I did, I would say it. For example, I can assure you that this type of person Ugh. doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. Y'all need to get your money up for you. Maybe Russia. Y'all come and talk shit on my comments. Because the comment, all that shit, did that make you win money? No. But guess what? It made me money. So guess what? Y'all need to reevaluate yourself with y'all. Go so big. Who would ever take this person seriously for anything that they... Unfortunately, 90% of uh, today's youth... Dude, do you wonder why people turn out so fucked when this is the role models they have to look up to? Do you, do you really... Do we really need to wonder why people are so fucked <laughs> if this is what they've got to look up to? They say. How, how, why? Why would you do that? I think, like, the biggest thing that, like, annoys me in, like, the whole dating world is, like, fucking talking stages. Like, that shit's so annoying. Like, the whole, like... Now, how many likes did you count here? Like, in, like, talking stages, and it's just, like, you're, like, labeled that, and it's, like, people, like, are considered, like, you can't, like, you're just, like, confused, and, like... Anybody Think about what you're saying. Jesus Christ. Times, dismiss everything that they said. Rule of thumb for me, if I hear somebody say the word like more than five times in a 10-second window, I, I dismiss everything that they say. 
nothing they say holds any credence to me for, for the rest of their lives. Most of the time, like, the girl get, like, gets, like, attached or something, and they, like, see it like it's going to lead to a relationship, and it's always not, and it's just, like... I mean, if you have outlook. a grasp on forming sentences, then yeah, how would you have a grasp on life? I mean, you, lo you learn how to put a proper sentence together in elementary school. I mean, if you're in your 20s, uh, and by now you, you still can't do it, I mean, it's just... Nobody's going to take you seriously. Don't ever compare me to something like that, bro. It's some little way. Okay. Someone that's still like that. That's not me, bro. Don't compare me to nothing like that, bro. I'm really The fucking... Dude, I hate face tattoos. It's so bad. You can get tattoos, right? Just don't get them on your fucking face, please. I know you feel like you're really cool for doing it and edgy for doing it. You will not like them in 10 years time, 20 years time, 30 years time, you will hate the way it looks. This looks fucked. Don't do this. It's fucked. Trust me, I know. I know this is fucked. Okay? I really like it. And y'all seen it. <laughs> I don't want this stuff in my hair like that. I really like it. This guy drives amongst us. He's responsible for the lives of pet animals. And he breeds. He could clone himself. And he and he's somebody's neighbor too. I mean like it. I'd love to take somebody from a small town in Iceland that's never left their country. Bring them to America. And, and just bring them to a place like this. Bring them to this bar here. The fucking hell is going on? Got scuffed Kim K here trying to live out her glory is. Round from the crack house. Kona Joe, Slavic guy. And just see what their authentic reaction is of, of a woman standing at a bar with a pillow in her ass. <laughs> trying to attract people. While she helps this class act take her shoes off so she could walk around and play pool barefoot on a floor filled with gum, people's drool. And just see how we live here. I mean, it's, it's got to smell like hot dog water in there. Yeah, I... <laughs> oh, that's so fucking true. That's so fucking true. Oh my god, that is so fucking true. I'd like to take him for lunch the next day in Miami and just watch the look on his face when he sees this play out in the streets. Wait one second, one second, one second. Okay, there we go. We are on, we are on the right. Uh... Something. This is a video in Miami at a shopping district or something. It's just a bunch of lunatics walking in front of cars. And okay, okay. Thank you guys, Head, for saving me there. Jesus Christ. Yelling. Okay. <laughs> twerking in the street. Dude, I've said it before and I'll say it again. America has like 10 years left. They actually cut it to five because of this. It has five years left. That shit is the sinking ship. And, uh, it just, it just, it just, it's just over. A lot of these cities are just the falling now. Iceland would be horrified. You'd go, what kind of society is this? And this is light compared to what's out there. This, this is just scraping the surface. This is mild. This is harmless. <laughs> What are you people doing? Th this is an embarrassment. Thank God for abortions. Thank God for abortions. Thank God for abortions. <laughs> the world sees this and goes, what is going on in America? <laughs> what kind of society is this? And no elected official in this country talks about it. And you still believe these people care about us. And I want to just add on to that, that that's what happens 
when you don't have friends in high school and need to make friends in your 20s. Uh, this sort of behavior is what happens. And no elected official in this country talks about it. And you still believe these people care about us. Well, that was Generation Zero. What the fuck? Oh, Gen Z. I didn't even think about that for a second. That's how in I am on the uh, the Zuma train. I'm actually going to post this in my Discord because it's so fucking true. I love it. Uh, there we go. I don't even see this as negative, really, because it's actually kind of like trying to positively affect society and like show what you shouldn't be, you know? And I think the grand majority do agree what you shouldn't be, you know? Uh... No, that's for, that's for later. That's, uh, that's a thing for later. I want to see this. So we got Billy in a social freak here. The Zuck Suck versus very well-dressed man who next to Joe Rogan looks like a child. There is actually a video of that, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> Although Lex Friedman seems like a nice guy. I don't know everything about him, but from what I've seen, he seems like a nice guy. But um, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Dude, if I got tapped by Mark Zuckerberg, I don't think I would like live down the embarrassment of that. This video is of Mark Zuckerberg and I, Lex Friedman, training jiu-jitsu. Martial art with the goal of attaining positional dominance of your opponent and then to submit dominance. them by breaking their arm or leg or choking them unconscious. But stopping right before that as your opponent taps twice to designate that they give up. I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu and I've been doing it for over 15 years and also judo and wrestling for 10 more. Mark has been training jiu-jitsu for just over a year and has taken this journey on with humility and with a seriousness that to me is truly inspiring. How old is this? Two days ago. Didn't Joe Rogan say fucking Mark Zuckerberg is a black belt in jiu-jitsu? I swear I've heard this. Let me let me just do a little bit of sexy research here. Uh Uh. There was a surprise entrant to a jiu-jitsu tournament this past weekend, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Nice job, team. Zuckerberg didn't just compete, he actually won a few medals as well. Zuckerberg may not cut the most imposing figure on the mat, but you have to respect him for not just training in the gentle art, but actually putting his skills to the test against live competition. Keep the high-quality comments coming in. There was a surprise entry to a Okay. Well, that just... Uh, it was like a short I watched. I think it was this? Did you see Mark Zuckerberg won This might have been it. I love this music, by the way. It's no. awesome. Mark Zuckerberg no. is a fucking savage. This Can you dude imagine? has been training in jiu-jitsu. This is what he did. He wore a COVID mask, and he fucking put a hat on, and he hid, and he, he used an alias. <laughs> and then imagine you're right about to compete and like maybe your first competition. Well, just give it a try. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Worst thing that could happen? You get strangled by a I'm super Mark, nerd in front of the whole world. Zuckerberg is so it was embarrassing. Awesome. I'm very damn. Uh, these are like the hot girls in high school. Okay. Anyway, maybe he didn't. Maybe I imagined that. This was recorded shortly after our recent podcast conversation, and. Given the recent back and forth between Elon and Zuck on social media, I should mention that I'm a longtime friend of Elon and a new friend of Zuck. And I'm excited to see them take on the journey of being martial artists. And that's and how you never become bankrupt. 
<laughs> make friends with fucking billionaires. Their own way. And I look forward to training with each of them. They both run large, successful, impactful companies. And so they're super busy. But I do believe there's tremendous value in them practicing martial arts as it will make them better leaders, better human beings, and students of human nature. First and foremost, at least to me, jiu-jitsu is humbling. And humility is a powerful tool for innovation and leadership. Let me quote here, as one must, the great Miyamoto Musashi, a Japanese swordsman and warrior philosopher from the 17th century. Think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. That said, this is a martial art. And so he also did say that the way of the warrior is the resolute acceptance of death. In this video, you see Mark and I doing live technical training and some practice of techniques under the guidance of the legendary Jiu Jitsu and Judo instructor, Dave Camarillo. And now, dear friends, here's Mark Zuckerberg and I training some Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> Oh, there's the mating press position. <laughs> it's kind of like a choreographed dance a little bit, isn't it? It's like what you do to your friend when you're fighting them. If Mark Zuckerberg wins this, I kind of want to see Joe Rogan versus Mark Zuckerberg. I wonder who's on more supplements. Probably Joe Rogan would edge him out very slightly. He was being very gentle with him though, like... Here? Just fucking kick the back of his knee, dude, and he goes down. Like, he's being very gentle with him, like, the, the gentleness he took him to the ground there. Looks like he just bit someone's ear off or something. I should his teeth were bleeding. Or is him wearing a mouth guard? Yeah, they're very, very gentle with each other, aren't they? I'd like to imagine, like, just chucking people around. Like that? Yeah. I feel like you could do that way harder.
Jesus Christ, Lex Friedman's jacked, didn't he? Put Mark and Lex together the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he's being so gentle with him. Because let's be honest, the Zuck ain't too ripped. And I feel like Lex Friedman could really kill him if he wanted. <laughs> and then again, as well, this he's only been training for a year. I am just don't like him personally. So, I mean, I admit... Good on him for having a go, but yeah, I feel like Lex Friedman could fucking manhandle him if he wanted. Take that, Max. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. You need to use pins. Get Nick down and hit him. That's one. Yeah, that was crazy. That's not shit. That looks very good. Nick, double up on that. Get on with the double. Nice. 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 When he has a guillotine, turn away from the elbow, like turn towards the elbow. Dude, this seems like it's a really good fucking workout. This would be really fun to go do this as well. I wouldn't mind going and doing it. It's very interesting to watch this. When you're actually taking in like everything they're doing. Oh, oh, oh. They're ready to spin. What? They're ready to spin. Uh, 
I did see this, because uh, Andrew Huberman's a fucking a pog, a human pog. He's really good at like neuro, uh, neuro brain surgery type stuff. I don't know what he actually is, but I know he has. Uh, he's, I think he's like a professor or something. He's a very smart guy, regardless, um, and he. He seems to uh, know what he's talking about. I've actually used some of his stuff, like waiting 90 minutes when you wake up before you have coffee, because then um, if you wait that 90 minutes, your body, as it's waking up, it has, I can't remember all the names, but like the chemical that comes out of your body um, whilst you're waking up, well... If you wait 90 minutes, that will give you, um, brain gone. Brain is gone. Jesus Christ. If you wait 90 minutes, that'll flush all the chemical out of when you're waking up, and then you take the coffee, you won't get a crash from it. That was something I learned from Andrew Huberman seems to know what he is talking about so yeah yeah that ain't bait i really have played payday 3 in fact oh that was great okay let's go on to hearthstone hmm this seems better than this when we hear the word Dubai, most of us picture towering skyscrapers, immense wealth, police with Lamborghinis, seven-star hotels, with the absolute cream of society inside them. Also the Palm Island. Yeah, yeah the cr cream of society you live in this sort of shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. They're all like top doctors, world-renowned scientists, leading in <laughs> in virus research and you know just people who save the world all live here definitely islands, the Burj Khalifa, the Burj Al Arab futuristic symbols of incredible wealth and so in light Burj of Burj Khalifa that, is actually, actually the tallest building in the world I believe it still is I could be wrong on that I haven't checked in a while let me double check Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, yep, it still is. The Burj Khalifa in Dubai. I think 2010 is still the tallest building. Wow. I think in Hitman 3, you actually... The, I think the first mission actually takes place in a... Case version by the Emirates and the Gulf countries. Uh, well, a fictitious version of it. In general, the, the worst places on the planet. 
Now this is a rather bold claim I realize, but it's one that I can substantiate fully. So let's take a look at what's really behind the glitz and glamour, the true face of Dubai and the Gulf countries. To better understand what's going on in a place like Dubai, first let's talk about Romania. In the decades following World War II, Bucharest, the capital, came to face the same problem as many Eastern European capitals did at the time. As urbanization increased and huge residential areas were built out, the need arose for new, high-capacity public transportation. And so Nicola Ceaușescu, the dictator of Romania back in the day, gave out the order to construct a metro line. And so the engineers created a line proposal and presented it to him. And then Ceaușescu was like, no, I will design the route personally. And so the former shoemaker assistant, who also called himself the genius of the Carpathians, I am not making this up, sat down and redesigned the entire metro line to have it run along the river underneath. Yes, along. But Nicola Ceaușescu's wife, Elena Ceaușescu, a former textile factory worker, also got her fair share. If she had hair down, she actually has my hair at the moment, but if she had hair further down, <laughs> if she had hair further down, She'd kind of look like a man. Not in like a mean way I'm saying this, but... You know, she'd kind of look a bit like a feminine type guy, you know? Not that there's anything wrong with that. If anything, there's a lot of things right with that in my book. But... It's just an observation. Planning. I haven't eaten. The okay. The final of my reactions are not as good. I haven't eaten. <laughs> Line to the Ceausescu couple, Brain gone. Who reportedly asked why the metro would stop inside the inner city at Piazza Romana, inquiring what kind of factories there are. The planners told her there aren't any factories, but there is the Bucharest University of Economics where there are lots of students. Hearing that. Okay, my brain can't take this in right now. We're gonna have to react to this at a different time when brain not gone. Uh, I'm gonna probably call it here actually because I just I need to eat something. So, uh, yeesh, um, but I'd like to, I'd like to see this, uh, so, yeah, do that. Do that, farm up the content, farm up the content, uh, farm up the content a little bit. No, 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 not yet. Soon, soon, my brothers and sisters, soon. When you uh, I'm trying to not get any commentary channels. I kind of like these people who do video essays. You know? Ben Shapiro's book is Beyond Stabbing, Pogchamp. Can't wait to read it. If you can't tell that sarcasm, well, fuck off. Uh, I want to see this. I think I actually added that to watch later, but just in case, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I can already tell you how this happened. Um, just not letting anyone else in the world into your location is probably going to cut off a lot of your finances. Uh, yeah, we will have to watch later. Now we're getting into sort of the tinfoil hat. Uh, very sort of videos. You gotta be careful as well. You gotta make sure you're not getting into like 
okay. Best of Idiots in Cars compilation made 2024. Why did 9.6 million people see that? People fucking getting crushed in vehicles. That seems like a great time. Uh, wait. I think that's good. Oh, look, this is a one-sided argument. Maybe I'm incorrect, though. <laughs> this definitely doesn't seem like a video that's problematic. Uh... Oh no, South Korea was the place I meant earlier, not Taiwan. Oh no, wait, yeah, it's South Korea, yeah, okay, I was correct. Okay, though, uh... Let's see this. Yeah, I feel like all these big countries, like China... America, they're not built to last. They feel like they are, and they probably think they are, but they're really not built to last, and I can tell you that from the outside looking in. Um, and I do apologize if you're part of those, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles in this situation. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to peace out. I need to go make food, and I'll be back again tomorrow. So, love you guys very much. Stay safe out there. Uh, try and save your money best you can if you can't afford to invest it I'd say be careful but do it and only ever invest money that you're willing to uh, lose so yeah love you guys very much and go spread some love and joy out there go make some, uh, some people's days better and you'll feel better about yourself I'm sure so yeah. Bye-bye. Smile. <laughs>